Hello and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. My name is Rosemary Orchard and in today's tip we're going to look at how to customize the Carrot Weather app. For those of you who don't know, Carrot is a third-party weather application available for iPhone, iPad and even your Mac. The maker of Carrot recently released version 5, which comes with some more perks and customization options, which we'll look at here today. Carrot is a weather app with personality. I've set mine to snarky because, let's face it, there's nothing better than cheering up the drizzle over here. However, you can set it to whatever you like, and that's one of the things that we'll cover here today. Let's get started. This is Carrot. As you can see, it's currently raining where I am, and indeed, it's probably going to rain for the rest of the day as well. By tapping on the information at the top of the screen, I can see the default view or my preferred view, which has a bit more information. I can swipe across the next section to see a prediction of what things will look like. And at the bottom, I can see exactly what the weather is going to be like for the next week or so. However, this view might not suit you. Some people need more detail, some people need less detail. So let's take a look. Under the three dots in the top right, we can go to settings. Here, of course, we have a large number of settings, but we'll start with general. First of all, you can customize the units. These default based on your geographic location and what the defaults are for that area. Next up, we can see our default location, and that's either last viewed or our GPS. GPS, of course, means global positioning system, and it should update to your current position. Next, we have show address, which you may want to turn on, but I personally find that that takes up space and doesn't deliver a huge amount of value. The next option we have is personality. And of course, Carrot has personality. Now, Carrot has a few different personality options. In fact, five of them. It can go all the way down to completely professional with no banter, no jokes, nothing, all the way up to overkill, which does involve creative use of profanity. I'll leave this set on the middle setting, which is snarky and mostly free of violence. Of course, these are all jokes and you should set things up to suit you. If I pop back into general, we can also see theme option. By default, Carrot uses your system light and dark mode. However, I can toggle this off and set my theme. Now, if you don't toggle light and dark themes on and off automatically, either through the system settings or shortcuts, then you can do this in Carrot with an auto switch at sunrise and sunset. Or you can specify that it should use the light theme or the dark theme all the time. I'll go back and go back to using the system light mode for now, because my phone's in light mode and it's easier for you to see. Well, now we've just seen the simple settings. Let's go up a level and take a look at how you can truly customize Carrot to be the weather app of your choice. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.